By now you probably know about NFTs, all the ins and outs, and how they're literally interconnected with almost everything we buy nowadays. But how do these digital assets actually have value? Because they digital, they fake. So basically in late 2021, an artist named Puck released an NFT collection known as The Merge. 91.8 million was that initial prediction, but it was purchased for nearly 100 million by 28,983 collectors. I mean, color me shocked, I don't know about you. So why do people invest so much? What is their ideology behind purchasing a digital creation made by somebody? Why did somebody invest almost half of their yearly earnings on this? There's got to be some logic behind it, right? We actually had the same question, so we took it upon ourselves to find out what actually makes NFTs valuable, or how NFTs even gained their value in the first place. So if you want to know, keep watching, I'll give you a biscuit. We can uncover some details as to why communities are so enthusiastic about an upcoming drop and ready to invest in it at any given moment. So sit tight, because we're about to uncover some spicy meatballs. Yeah, let's go. To explain this in simple terms, NFTs are a short form for non-fungible tokens. Non-fungible implies that these tokens or resources are a one of a kind, unique, and provide restricted ownership of the crypto blockchain. They're valuable items that cannot be exchanged. NFTs could be anything digital, like artwork, illustrations, blueprints, or even music. Which means that you own digital artwork in whatever form that nobody else can have any ownership of. And rather, depending on its value inside of the NFT market, you can choose to keep it as a novelty item. Which, in technical terms, are known as collectibles. Or you can trade it for your profit if you feel like it too. So, what exactly makes NFTs sell for millions on occasion? Aren't they just highly valuable tokens that are materialistic? Well, with the sudden launch of NFTs, so many people are already eye in the bait, clogging the room with high expectations because someone just might sell for billions again. So, are non-fungibles worth investing in? To break it down and make it a little bit easier for you, my lovely viewer, NFTs are non-fungible tokens, which figuratively means that the item's ownership is exclusively the individual's, or that they have the right to call it their authentic property. They validate the authenticity of any NFT asset, making items one of a kind and actually valuable and exceptional in some ways. For instance, Investing in some kind of piece by Vincent van Gogh, his art can have multiple versions, but still, despite all the different copycats and other versions out there, reprints, there's only one authentic piece, which is what distinguishes it and separates the original painting from the identical copies. Utility, ownership record, the underlying asset, buyer impression, liquidity premium, and potential value are some of the mention-worthy factors that make NFTs high-priced investments. NFTs vary considerably from cryptocurrency to cryptocurrency because you can always exchange cryptocurrency for highly valued products, making them fungible in a certain sense. But on the other hand, NFTs aren't, so they're a very powerful and attractive investment. Truthfully, NFTs are a great investment if the token visitors buy underlying economic value. The fundamental value indicates the worth of the company or individual responsible for the minting of the token in question. The underlying piece is also determined by the NFT's unique intangible and tangible assets, so it would ultimately be wrong to say that all NFTs are exceptionally valuable, because some actually are. There are, like I said, various types of non-fungible tokens with varying levels of value. But what are the multiple types of NFTs with the best value that people want to invest in, even when they haven't launched yet? Various types of NFTs are used to authenticate certificates for digital content like music, art, collectibles, new characters, and objects in an online environment like video games. And all of these can be converted to NFTs, and ownership can be claimed, and ownership can be verified. So let's see if we can justify whether non-fungible tokens are actually valued or just a phase. Within the context of NFTs, utility is among the most heavily debated topics in larger crypto world, or in the larger crypto world. Throughout the last seven months, some very interesting NFT creations have emerged, whether it's improving computer games by adding probability to in-game loot, or the use of power-ups, or constructing a wrapper for several other token types inside of a single NFT. See, the versatility and also the utility of an NFT influences its value. The value of an NFT is determined by the self-image of the original issuer or former owners. Those NFTs with high-valued ownership history are frequently created by well-known composers, celebrities, or just other brand names. 
When only focusing on ownership history, determining value can be really challenging, but not impossible. If celebs and prominent persons own the NFT at a certain point, its value consequently rises. And this is known as the influencer impact. Rarity is absolutely integral in NFTs because they are, by definition, very unique. However, it's, it's become clear that some NFTs are more unique and more attractive than others, and this is what is meant by uncommon or rare. Some of these NFTs have like very unique traits to them, characteristics or properties that just set them apart from the rest of the same collection. It's the scarcity of these items that have driven the humongous price increases. Market liquidity of any NFT has a higher and a, a much higher value. The liquidity premium is the most vital and the primary reason why tokens created on the ETH crypto have a massive value than their other comparable off-chain assets. You cannot sell your asset if nobody in the crypto community wants to buy it, at least not for your predicted cost or the value you're looking for. Investors want to invest in high trading volume NFT assets because liquidity minimizes the chances of risks of holding NFTs that you no longer desire to keep. There are millions and millions of NFTs available on the market today, so, so choosing the right one with a strong ownership history is a way of choosing your upcoming NFT investment. Although it may not be the most valuable or extraordinary achievement, it will hold value nonetheless. By comparing your succeeding purchase to any one of these critical elements, you'd have a much better chance of securing something that'll grow in price and value in the years to come. It is clear that cryptocurrency is reshaping the prospect of trade and commerce in the online scenario. Bitcoins and other digital assets, including NFTs, will be included in the new idea of collecting valuable assets. We've only just begun in virtual currency, and if leading competitors and other various niches begin to participate in the crypto space, it'll undoubtedly blow up. So, uh, in a nutshell, in a big old crackable nutshell, you can say that NFTs are of great value because they authenticate a non-fungible investment, and as a result of this, the assets are appealing to the community, which makes them unique. While all famous paintings of any famous painter are non-transferable, or not possible to replicate and hold firm to their uniqueness and authenticity, NFTs render such digital content that is also irreplaceable and thus valuable. So to invest in an NFT, you need to keep in mind its liquidity its ownership history, its uniqueness, and its use. All these are going to ensure the success of your investment, and you will gain something in return for your investment that is great in value. And we hope you now understand that the reason for excessive hype for upcoming as well as earlier drops in the massive investments in NFTs have a justified reason. So next time you actually make an investment in an NFT you eagerly waited for, remember what we shared in this video today. Remember what I did for you, a good old solid. So I did you a solid, you could do me a solid, that's how this whole YouTube interaction works. I make the videos, you like the videos, everybody has a good time, huh? Alright, good, 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 good. Later.